Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos, Thomas and Jackie Hawks, and Diamond Drill Gang. Tales of hauntings, murder, and scary mysteries. Every week, Twisted Twos dives into a pair of uniquely terrifying true stories that are worthy of a more in-depth look. For this week, we focus on a terrifying incident for a California couple and one of the most ingenious robberies ever committed. Get ready for Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos. Number 1. Thomas and Jackie Hawks For Thomas and Jackie Hawks of Newport Beach, California, the purchase of their 55-foot yacht named Well Deserved was a dream come true. A retired probation officer and bodybuilder, Thomas married Jackie, his second wife, and the two set off for three years on board the Well Deserved. They enjoyed their retirement and used the boat as their permanent home while exploring the Pacific Ocean and the Gulf of California. But having a newborn grandson changed things, and soon they wanted to live closer to family and settle down on actual land. After years of seafaring, they decided to move to Newport Beach and sell their beloved boat. On November 15, 2004, the couple set sail on a test cruise with a potential buyer, the boat returned, but Thomas and Jackie never did. Hoping to attract good buyers who would care for the boat, the couple had posted an advertisement in a popular sailing magazine, and it attracted the eye of Skylar De Leon. A former child actor, Skylar starred in commercials and even an episode of the kids' show Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when he was 14. But as he got older, he struggled to remember his lines, and this led to fewer roles. By 20, he joined the U.S. Marines, but went AWOL just 15 days after joining. As a result of this, he was discharged. De Leon contacted the Hawks, and at first they were skeptical of him as a buyer, but soon welcomed him when he brought his then-pregnant wife Jennifer to meet them. It was around 3.30 p.m. on November 15, 2004, when Skyler, together with Alonzo McCain, a former correctional officer, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy, an insane Crips gang member joined the Hawks for a quick test trip aboard their boat. A week later, and the Hawks still had not been heard from, Tom's brother Jim, who was a former police officer, went to check on them. Together with the port captain, Carter Ford, Jim found the 55-yacht boat still moored in the harbor. The port captain also noticed the dinghy the couple used was secured sloppily on the dock with the motor still in the water, something the couple would never do. The two men boarded the boat, called out, but there was no answer. The next day, Jennifer De Leon called in and said that they had purchased the boat from the Hawks 10 days prior, but hadn't seen them since. The Hawks were then officially reported missing, and weeks later, police arrested Skyler in relation to the disappearances. Skyler said he bought the boat legally, but his accomplice Alonzo had a different story. See, according to him, after setting sail, Skyler and Kennedy lured Thomas below deck where they began punching and kicking him. Alonzo stayed with Jackie on the deck and subdued her as well. They then bound the couple, covering their eyes and mouth with duct tape. Despite Jackie's pleadings, they forced the two to sign documents, including the sale of the boat and their bank account information and passwords. They then told the couple they would be dropped off on a passing boat somewhere in Mexico. But instead, they tied a rope around the couple's waist and attached them to the boat's anchor. When Tom tried to fight back one last time, Kennedy punched him and then threw the boat's anchor into the sea, dragging the couple down with it. They entered the water briefly and violently before disappearing into its murky depths. The three men then took the boat, turned around and headed back to Newport Harbor. Alonzo, who became the prosecutor's witness, said they ransacked the boat for valuables and cash. De Leon called his wife throughout the ordeal to tell her what was happening, and meanwhile, Kennedy grabbed a beer and began fishing, acting as if nothing had happened. It would take weeks before police were tipped off that Skyler tried to access Thomas and Jackie's account twice using the documents he forced them to sign. While police didn't have any solid proof at the time, they soon found Alonzo, who was willing to talk. In order to avoid the death penalty, he decided to reveal what happened and how they had killed the couple on the boat that day. All those involved in the murder were eventually arrested. Jennifer De Leon was found guilty and is serving two life sentences without the possibility of parole. Both Skyler and John Fitzgerald Kennedy are sitting on death row, 
while Alonzo was sentenced to 20 years and 4 months for working with prosecutors. As a result of the investigation into Thomas and Jackie's deaths, another murder, that of John Jarvie, was uncovered. It was found that Skyler killed Jarvie in Mexico under the pretense of creating a business deal with him. Number 2. Diamond Drill Gang Well known as one of the biggest unsolved bank heists in Australia, the robbery of the New South Wales Marillumba Branch Bank will go down in the history books. On November 22nd and 23rd of 1978, a group of what is believed to be five men broke into the bank's safe and made away with $1.7 million in used banknotes. On November 23rd at around 7.30 a.m., a security guard doing his rounds noticed the back door of the bank was slightly ajar and the safe was drilled into. When police were called in, they were unsure whether the bank was indeed robbed despite the obvious disturbance. Apparently, the thieves had jammed the vault door shut, removing the combination lock and the safe handles. As a result, police and the safe company had trouble accessing the inside of the safe to confirm if in fact any money was actually gone. First, the bank called the Chubb Vault Company, the makers of the bank safe, asking their locksmiths to open the vault. They tried for five hours but finally gave up as they couldn't do it. Soon, the engineers and men at the Tweed Shire Council were called in to try to open it. This time, they brought sledgehammers and pneumatic drills. They finally had to use a diamond tip drill to cut a hole big enough to see inside the safe. By 4.30 p.m., a bank official proclaimed the worst. About $1,763,400 was now missing from the bank. The money had actually arrived there the same day as the robbery. It was stored in plastic containers, and the cash was all used notes, making them nearly untraceable. The bank was the final destination of the money prior to it being moved to the Federal Reserve. Nolan was arrested in connection with the robbery, making it all the more intriguing, but there was one name perpetually linked to the crime. Australian mobster Graham the Munster Kinnenberg is known in the underworld as a prominent gangster. However, unlike those who like to flaunt their prestige, he likes to keep a low profile. Many point to him as being the chief safe breaker for what is now dubbed as the Diamond Drill Gang since they used a diamond tip drill to access the safe. It's believed prior to this bank heist, the same gang practiced and robbed 14 other banks from the Melbourne and Sydney area using their signature diamond drill tip. After the thieves broke in, they made a small hole in the safe big enough to feed a medical cytoscope with an attachment on the tip. This was then used to open the lock's tumblers. While one thief was working on getting the lock open, another one was busy opening a secondary escape route in the ceiling. This was only an emergency route in case they had to rush out. There were a lot of questions regarding the robbery, not just because no one knew who did it, but also no one knew how they did it. Others were asking how come it took until 7.30 in the morning before it was discovered, leading some to think it might have been an inside job. There were also rumors of a possible corrupt cop that had ties with the mob who had mysteriously been assigned to the bank branch area just months before the robbery. However, there's no absolute proof to these ties. Today, the mysterious case of the Diamond Drill Gang continues to remain unanswered. So there were two of the most violent and ingenious stories around. The world can be a crazy place and Twisted Twos is sure to show you why. If you like this video, then please remember to subscribe and check out some of our other videos we know you'll love. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.